Hello guys, welcome back again. Uh, so this is book two of I want to learn the bass. And then lesson number one, exercise number one. Uh, this is to increase your um, flexibility and endurance with the bass. So we are on the fourth string. So lower E. And we are on G note using uh, first finger and it's on the third fret three four three five three six three five three four and back and then going to the third string same pattern and then the next string Then the last bit and if this is too wide or too far for you you can change and move to like on the 12 up here so that it's closer it's up to you uh, how you will uh, improvise on this uh, exercise but I suggest to get familiar because most of your um, chords or notes that we will be using is on this uh, part of the bass and then you can also improvise by just because sometimes it's hard isn't it with the pinky if you just start with the index and middle finger and then this one and just leave the pinky until you get a sort of hold of what you're doing and attempt to do that with your pinky all right happy with that okay so exercise number two is like a chromatic so it's three four five six three four five six three four five six three four five six and you can practice your uh, finger here uh, the plucking you can do alternate just do it slow until you're familiar all right and then going back okay so this is just pure exercise to uh, stretch and um, improve your grip with the bass so even if you're using just the index finger here on your right hand it's fine So if you got like a dead string, like my pinky earlier, just keep on practicing that one. And as I said, it's an exercise. Uh, it will develop an independence for your fingers as well as the grip so that you can get the good uh, tone from the bass. Okay, next. Exercise number three. So the pattern is three, six, so third fret sixth fret and then fourth and then fifth so and then uh, coming up sixth third and then fifth fourth sixth third fifth fourth sixth third fifth fourth sixth third fifth fourth and then again third six fourth fifth three six four five three six four five three six four five all right happy with that 
that will um, develop uh, because you'll become like automatic if you keep doing the like this one the chromatic it will be automatic in your brain that you're just doing it um, in sequence this one will alter the sequence right and then exercise number four is three five four six so it becomes a bit tricky now but yeah it will develop dexterity of your fingers all right so let's try exercise number four three and then five four six three five four six three five four six three five four six and then coming up so six four five three six four five three six four five three six four five three it might seem a bit boring uh, doing these exercises but in the long run your fingers will uh, develop speed and accuracy by just keep doing this so if you know the pattern or you can create your own pattern of that exercises just to develop um, the independence of your fingers even if you're watching the uh, tv uh, sat in the lounge just keep practicing this and your fingers will develop um uh, flexibility and independence uh, when where they want to go all right keep practicing this exercise and that's our lesson number one